Hello and welcome to a new episode of Idle Heroes Tower Defense. Update version 9 is here. Some small UI reworks, um, some crash fixing and the uh, uh, Tibis also lowered the cost of the map. Maps basically, like if you want to buy them with gems. And he also changed the perks. Which is really insane. And I'll get to it in a sec. I'm just gonna upgrade my warlord here. Um, sorry for the discord sounds again. I've got to put it off. Alright, map selection. Default. Uh, still the same. Snowport. Still the same. Barren Desert. 30% range, 10% synergy bonus, 25% rank XP. Uh, minus kill gold. You're not gonna push here on this setup. Because, uh, I mean, it, it's way too short here, the pathing. So, synergy bonus is basically crap. Why is it crap? Because you're gonna get Ballista, you're gonna get, like, plus one skill power, which does nothing, basically. Um, you might get some extra damage here, but it's not gonna do that much. So, that kind of sucks, the synergy bonus. I don't think it's gonna make that much of a difference. 25% rank XP, which is really good. Kill gold sucks, but I mean, I can live with that for uh, uh, XP farming. Um, I'm not too sure if the XP farm is going to be great, because like, if I, let's say we put Warlord here, right, and this is going to be our kill zone. It's probably not going to reach the bottom here, which is a problem. Uh, we need to cover, we need to put Ballista here then. Some archers here. It's one scout, one necromancer for synergy. Um, maybe. We can put two ballistas here. One for boss, one for regular. Yeah, might be good, might be good. Uh, but only for rank XP. Haunted Cemetery, tw minus 25% cooldown time, which is great. 100% prestige power, which is super great. And then there's battle pass XP. and. Uh, uh, minus 35% rank XP. I hate to sacrifice rank XP. I don't know why. I can live with it being like regular, but not minus. So for me, that's like kind of like a no go to go to this map, except for on events. On event days, I would probably like if it's an event for two times prestige power, two times battle pass XP, I would definitely go this map and grind the hell out of it because that's gonna be insane at the moment i am getting 44 wrong one there we go uh 25 battle pass xp extra would be 11 so you would get 55 um i am level 78 i would have to do some math to see how much experience i have gotten so far because i mean i started this month as well so i started at one xp so i'm slightly have gotten extra um upgrades basically so let's say i can get to like battle pass 80 or 85 at the end of the month that would be some extra runes some extra gems 25 percent extra would mean how much extra so maybe you could go to 90 or something so if you would play on the haunted map the whole time with minus 35 percent rank xp is it really worth 500 gems and, and 50 runes that's what i'm asking i don't think so so it's not gonna be a map that i'm gonna play um except for when I'm in need of prestige power and battle pass XP, but I would I would not focus on energy. I would definitely spawn kill. Like I would put up like the the biggest DPS setup there is with all kinds of synergy, and I would just spawn kill all the way. I might actually do it at the start of the month, like the first, and then just knock out some levels and then just go crazy. I might make a video on that just to see how much battle pass XP we can get. Um, Evil Dungeon, uh, it's basically the push map, well, when I look at the perks, 75% damage, 50% critical hit chance, 3% skill power, 50% kill gold, and minus 25% range. 
I think the perks are great. I think the perks are a little bit too OP for one specific map, but the map layout is shit because enemies are coming like here. Your kill zone needs to be here. You can't put a teleporter here because they will just teleport all the enemies from here already to there. Um, but the maps are going to be reworked. Like the layout is going to be reworked. So maybe in the future, this is going to be the number one push map. Maybe you should just go like this. But that would be an extremely long pathing. Path uh, which would be fine for me. But for now, this is a no-go. This is like farm map. I would I would use Haunted Cemetery for... Yeah, Prestige Power, Battle Pass. I guess this for rank XP. But I don't need that much rank XP anymore. Because, I mean... Look at my Warlord. He's already 300 plus. Uh, rank XP... Well, 25% wouldn't hurt, I guess. But, yeah. Ooh, training dummy. Yeah. Um, sunny farm. That's where I'm farming still. Um, plus 5% energy income. Plus 5% bonus energy chance. Plus 10% bonus energy amount. And 15% spell cooldown. The damage I'm, I'm not too worried about. That's fine. Uh, what I am worried about is where is the 15% extra boss rush? That's gone. He, oh yeah, this is going to add that in some kind of upgrade in the future, so you can have boss rush probably on all the maps, which would make uh, Haunted Symmetry even better to farm prestige power. That, that's going to be insane. Um, at the moment, I'm still going to go for Sunny Farm, just because I need energy, not XP. Like, most of my towers are 200 plus, I suppose. Uh, let me just ch check apprentice. Yeah, I've yeah, not all of them. Uh, they're all at least level one hundred, at least. Uh, but the ones that I use in my push are a little bit higher, like two hundred at least, for the um, global attributes. All right. Um, so at the moment, still sunny farm. What do you guys think about the uh, map perks? Let me know. Uh, let the biz know in the discord as well if you think they're shit then just shout and But also suggest what you would do of course like give some good feedback about it um, So yeah See you guys next time Goodbye